Hey folks, welcome to Down the Lane Bowling. I'm Alex. John's behind the camera today. Um, for most ball review videos, I do them after I get out of work at Gaylord Bowling Center. So I'm alone anyway. This time, John's with me. We're here at Lucky Jack's. We just got done with leagues. And I've got another ball review video for you. Another hammer ball, um, the hammer effect. Uh, this one is something that came out about a week ago at the time of filming. Probably gonna be about the same for when we release the video. Um, we'll try to get it out to you the week of filming. No promises, obviously. But with all that said, I've got a ball review. With this uh, 14 pound ball, I've got it drilled up to a 45 by 5 by 45. Um, slightly less aggressive than the Black Widow 3.0. We'll probably give you a ball comparison between the two as well. Um, that all said, we'll get into it, throw some shots, let you see how it looks, and I'll give you my thoughts on it as well. Well, it strikes, except for the fact that I pulled it about a mile and a half. Um, yeah, I missed my mark on that one. I will say that this ball, just out of the box, hooks more than the Black Widow 3.0. Um, it's different for sure. It's gonna give you a different look on the lane, but not bad if I have to say so. I'm gonna jump over to lane two here. So starting with my feet, I'm standing on about 41, 42, and I'm trying to throw it through 20 at the arrow. Need to move a little bit so as you can see there um, it was a better release I got it right where I wanted to get it and it didn't fight back so I'm gonna move a little bit probably about uh, three boards to the right and probably two with my mark we'll see where she goes from there yikes Um, I can't say that I missed there. Might be a little slow with the speed, but all in all, probably not that terrible. We're gonna make a big move on lane two. We're gonna move about 10 boards, give you a shot of how it looks going down and in. And when we come back over to one, we might give you a, a real cranker line. So like I said, we're gonna move about 10 boards in and show you what she looks like going straight up. Now obviously there I put a little bit more hand than I wanted to in it, but um, it wasn't terrible. I mean, I, I could definitely play off of that line and move off that line a little bit, make it work. Uh, I think you can play different lines with this ball and it'll still work, but you've got to know that it's a top of the line bowling ball. It's still going to hook on you. That's gonna do it for our ball review of the hammer effect. Um, I think it's definitely gonna be a really good tournament, tournament ball for me. Uh, maybe less so in leagues. It's a little strong for my liking. Um, I could make it work, but I've got some other balls that I definitely wanna try out for leagues. 
That being said, um, it's great. It costs about 200 bucks, give or take, for just the ball. Um, and then, obviously, if you're going to a local pro shop, whatever their drilling fee is, it might be included in the price if you get it from them. I highly recommend you get it from your pro shop that you frequent or you go to. Um, other than that, there's not much more I can say. High praises for the ball. Hammer has been putting out some really good equipment recently. And um, like I said, we'll get you a ball comparison between the Black Little 3.0 and the Hammer Effect. Other than that, I don't have much else to say. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you down the lane.